Hello everyone. Today we are preparing a very delicious carrot cake. Let's begin with the carrots. They need to be grated. And the best tool for this is a fine grater. It's a good idea to prepare the walnuts in advance to bring out their flavor and aroma. Lightly toast them in a dry skillet over low heat. Keep stirring them constantly. As soon as you start to smell the nutty aroma, you can turn off the heat. Transfer the walnuts to a plate and let them cool. After that, chop them with a knife. At this stage, you can preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Now let's make the batter. Take two eggs, white and brown sugar, Add odorless vegetable oil and a bit of vanilla extract. Mix everything well using a whisk. Next, prepare the dry ingredients. In a bowl, combine flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and a bit of ground cloves. Sift all the dry ingredients through a sieve. Add the grated carrots to the flour mixture and mix everything thoroughly using your hands. Combine the wet and dry ingredients. Then add the chopped nuts and mix well. Divide the batter equally between two baking pans. If you're using whole pans, grease them with oil and place parchment paper at the bottom. Place the pans in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Check for doneness using a wooden skewer. Let the cake layers cool on a rack for approximately 30 to 40 minutes. Now it's time to make the frosting. You'll need cream cheese and good quality butter. Beat them until fluffy. Then add half of the powdered sugar and mix well.
Add a bit of lemon juice and vanilla extract and mix again with a mixer. Finally, add the second half of the powdered sugar. To prevent the plate on which you'll assemble the cake from getting messy with frosting, you can place parchment paper strips around the edges. Place the first cake layer on top and spread some frosting. Put the second cake layer on top and gently press it down. Spread frosting on top and around the sides. If you notice that the frosting is unstable, refrigerate the cake for 15 to 20 minutes to allow the layers to set. You can sprinkle the sides of the cake with chopped walnuts. Place the cake in the refrigerator to stabilize it for at least three hours. Before serving, you can decorate the cake with fresh carrot shavings and nuts. The cake is ready. Enjoy!